So just like the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, I will also be making a series of the DCEU movies, reviewing them. I've already done a Justice League review, but that somehow got deleted. I do not know how. I will be making it again when Justice League, when I've done Man of Steel, Wonder Woman, Suicide Squad, and Batman v Superman again. So let's get right into it. I loved Henry Cavill in this role, Henry Cavill, uh, whatever you want to call him. I love this guy. I'm gonna say that I love Christopher Reeve a tiny bit more than Henry Cavill. While I don't know if Henry Cavill or um, Christopher Reeve is my favorite Superman, one thing I'm sure of is that Ben Affleck's Superman definitely is not my favorite. Amy Adams as Lois Lane is by far the best Lois we've ever had. One thing I would have wished for this movie is that she wasn't part of the trouble that much. She was very much the damsel in this dress. Um, uh, Perry White, played by Lawrence Fishburne, he was good, um, really good, in the upcoming Ant-Man and the Wasp, he's playing Goliath. It's a good thing that Marvel's Civil War uh, already happened, because in the comics of the Civil War, Goliath actually died. He was killed by uh, Thor's robotic clone. Uh, Michael Shannon, sorry, uh, what the hell happened with my voice? Michael Shannon played Zod very good. Uh, there were some moments where I was like, ah, no. But uh, other than that, he was good. Martha Kent, I enjoyed her in this movie. Um, good, as always. Feora, one of the best parts of this movie. Really, really good. Jor-El, um... He could have been in it a bit less, but other than that, he was good. Jonathan Kent could have been in it a bit more, but I love this, except for his sacrifice. I think nowadays, a lot of deaths are just sacrifices. No one, like in the original Superman movie, uh, uh, they, don't, they don't just die. They, they have to sacrifice themselves. And this is, of course, an amazing, amazing, an amazing cast for a movie. There is also this Easter egg, or theory maybe, that General Swanwick is actually a uh, Martian Manhunter. And once I, heard, once I heard that theory, I was like, wow, yeah, I can see that actually happening. Another great scene was when uh, Lois was trying to escape the scout ship and Jor-El helped her, and he was like pointing all the time this way. It was so funny. So I'm going to talk a bit about the director of this movie now. Um, I was about to say Stan Lee, I don't know why. Uh, Zack Snyder, I actually kind of like his version of Superman. Um, I liked him more in Justice League than in this because he was happy and he smiled and he actually laughed. But I think Zack Snyder was the right choice for this movie. This movie made me become a major fan of Superman. Yeah, get it? I'm rhyming. Um, so I rewatched this movie recently. And I wasn't that big of a Superman fan before this. I mean, I was like, uh, he's he's okay. But after this, I loved Superman a lot. The Superman from Supergirl, I thought he was a... Maybe, I mean, he acted a bit more like Superman from the comics. But I still really, really like um, Henry Cavill's portrayal of the Man of Steel himself. So, I feel like that the Lois and Clark relationship was, like, instant. It was, it was a, it was a bit weird in this movie, but, um, yeah. I mean, th th this is nothing. I mean, it's not nothing, but it's not as good as Superman the movie. Superman the movie is by far the best Superman movie, and Christopher Reeve is the best Superman. This, I mean, this was... Uh, the the opening scene with Krypton and all that that was so so good and the battle for Metropolis was ah, I was it was it was good too but yeah all in all Man of Steel was an okay film it's not something I'm gonna go crazy over and gonna go like oh I I love this movie I'm gonna watch it again um I I think it was okay it wasn't spectacular it was okay. I'm s I'll say I'm, I'm leaning towards the good side. I mean, I, I like this movie, I'll, I would say.